Welcome to Jeff's Reviews. Today I'm taking a look at the Nesco American Harvest Digital Dehydrator. This is uh, model number FD77DT. It's their newest dehydrator and it's digital so there's actually settings from 95 degrees up to 160 degrees. He just set that on the top front panel here. Uh, this is an old one, old Nesco that I've had for, I don't know, 15-20 years, something like that. This old model just has an on-off. Uh, the newer model, you have the front panel buttons. You can dehydrate. What's nice is when you go like herbs and spices, these thinner things, you want a lower temperature so you don't brown them. Um, you can see I've done some mints and oregano. This is plantain, or no, dandelion. Plantain, I'm going to be using those in teas. Uh, catnip for my cats. Then strawberries. It's really important to get the good temperature. That way you, you dry it out well instead of just burning it. I've done all kinds of stuff. I've done beef jerky. Um, the Nesco comes with a couple of beef jerky mixes. Um, they work pretty well. I prefer doing some of my own. I went on the internet, found some really good recipes. This does come with an instruction book and recipes. Gives you some good hints and tips on using your dehydrator. On the old models, um, they had this big end that sticks out. Well, the new ones don't have that. The new one's pretty much flat on the top. Then there's a smaller hole, and then the air goes down and then blows back up. And on this model, they give you a couple of uh, little inserts. It's a little net one so that you can do dice stuff and it won't fall through the trays. And then this flat one you can do like uh, fruit leathers. And if you have any of the old style trays, don't get rid of them because they do fit on here perfectly. So you can use your old trays. Um, even the base you can use. The base will work just fine on the new one. On this new one um, just like the old one, when you load up stuff, uh, you don't want to load stuff in the bottom. You want to keep the bottom clear, and then you put the trays, you just stack stuff on the trays. You try not to get it too, uh, too clumped together. It'll dry faster. And then you should always use at least four trays. You should never use less than four. That way it gets good airflow, and they'll dry out better. With the, the new model of dehydrator, they're, they're not really any quieter. They may be just a little bit. But the main thing is you can set the temperatures. It also has a timer. You can set a countdown timer. And you can do the time. You, know, you can have it run for two hours. That way you can do it at night. You don't have to let it run all night. You can just do it for two hours and it'll shut off. And then you can also do change the temperature on the front here. Um, I've done a lot of stuff. Um, we sell stuff at a farmer's market and we've been dehydrating like the dog biscuits we sell. That way they'll preserve them better and get some of the moisture out of them so that they don't go bad on people fast. And um, that's another use for this that they show in some of the books and some of the recipes I've seen is if you do uh, pet treats, you can dehydrate them. Make sure they, they'll last longer. Um, but the digital dehydrator works great. Um, I had no problems with it whatsoever. Um, I've done all kinds of stuff. I've done the fruit leather, beef jerky, chicken jerky, turkey jerky. I've done fruits and vegetables. Um, here's a bunch of strawberries. You can get stuff in season like strawberries and blueberries cheaper and then dehydrate them and use them in like oatmeal or as snacks. It saves you a lot of money and that's one of the big things that a, a dehydrator is for is to save you money. Um, you can get your spices or stuff for teas when it's ready and you know when it's available at the markets or in your garden. Um, we do our own herbs and teas and it can save you a lot of money because you're spending a lot of money when you're buying it in the grocery store and it's not on sale. So um, the Nesco Digital Dehydrator, this is the newest digital one. It works really well, highly recommended. 
Uh, this one costs about $115 from the Nesco website. You can also find them in stores. Um, I haven't really looked around all that much uh, locally here, but I have seen them on the internet, plenty of stores. You can probably find some pretty good coupon deals or sales. But uh, the Nesco Digital Dehydrator works really well. I'm really pleased that being able to change the temperature is the biggest plus of this one. And I highly recommend it for anybody who wants to save some money around the house. The full written review will be at justreviews.com. And please like me on Facebook. Thank you very much.